Hey guys, this is System, and this is Skyopolis 4. Hope everyone is well, having a utterly amazing day. Let's go ahead and uh, jump right back into this pretty amazing pack. And uh, in between episodes, have not done a ton. Did a little bit, of, I guess, more processing of coal and stuff. I actually need a little bit of this later on, so let's just uh, pop that right there. Been uh, making the creosote, then making the wood, all that jazz, the uh, treated planks. And uh, I know we need to bunch them later on, so just uh, getting ahead of that. Outside of that, uh, I guess I got us... Seven rats? I think we have seven or eight rats. They're way over there on the platform. We'll go look at them real quick. But uh, we got a good amount of them. I went ahead and broke down the building because I don't think we need it anymore. But uh, yeah, we got them all. They're just sitting here with their little wiggly noses doing wiggly nose things. And we got boys. We got girls. We got everything that we need. And uh, we'll be able to press uh, through them uh, once we have iron, right? So that's what I'm waiting on. I couldn't set them up for farming right now, but I really want to have them set up for some other stuff as well so i just want to do it all at once also these grow really tall with the snad like look at that <laughs> that's actually pretty silly the cat apparently is sitting on a lamp we'll just uh, let the cat do what the cat does and you may notice i actually have extra hearts right now and i also have uh i thought i had buffs man where did my buffs go uh let's go to here i have a book right so we have the mod in here let's go I, i'm just babbling so we have a mod in here called, what is it here, uh, Spice of Life, right? So if you go into here, I have it set to two. I had one set to one. I don't think it worked, right? So let's do that. Maybe set it to three, uh, four. Do we have anything not conflicted? Six, five. Let's do that. Two and five. So let's go out. So this is the book from Spice of Life. You notice that it says current food diversity is 11. With that, we should have buffs, and I don't know why they're not showing right now. Maybe I have to eat something. Either way. We'll worry about that in a second. I'll show you what it does, though. So we go to here and uh, see the diversity. It's at 11, right? This is all the food that I've eaten, I guess, recently. So it says there, diversity contri uh, contribution. Basically, I think it kind of goes down after you've eaten it, right? So eat it, you get a 1 that kind of degrades over time. So these ones are kind of going down and down and down, right? Because they're, they're further away in the list of meals than the order that I ate them, right? Over here, we have our active benefits. So you see here, I get two health at three. I get uh, at five, I get two more health. At five, I get strength one. At seven, I get another two health. At seven, I get regeneration one. Ten, max health two. And then it goes on and on. So get speed one. Then it goes up to 13. I'm not at this point yet, but uh, we'll get more and more buffs as we move forward. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. I don't think I'm getting them. Maybe it's because I just load up the pack or something. Maybe I have to eat something <laughs> first. But uh, once I eat again, I may be able to see my buffs. I just I just want to show you, man. Why is this going to be just be so difficult? There we go. I can eat now. There you go. Did I get them? Yeah. See, I got them now. I got speed, strength, and regeneration. I forgot I had regeneration. That's actually a really good one. So, yeah, that is the other thing I kind of figured out, I guess, in between videos. So, uh, I thought that was pretty neat. And uh, something we can utilize, right? So there's a benefit to eating a varied diet, like multiple foods, to get that number up higher and higher and higher. Uh, to get like 33 or 35, whatever the max one was, um, you'd have to probably eat 35 different foods in a row, if that's how it works. I'm not really sure. I'm figuring that out as it goes. Uh, I made a bunch more millstones here. We're going to go ahead and ramp up our millstone setup. I thought I was going to do 15, but this system apparently has... a uh, there's like a kinetic stress uh, system with it. There's also like a rotational power system. And I think if I do 15, it's going to overpower this <laughs> and make it break, right? And then the system, like none of these machines will work. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a much smaller version of it. I'm just going to do nine of them. So we'll have three different separate dust setups, which is what I'm kind of going for. And then, yeah, we'll just be able to produce dust much further. So I could actually produce resources much more quickly. So that is cool. Let's go ahead and just grab nine of these. That's what I want to do. That looks good. Now I'm going to grab all our hoppers, grab some chests, some cogs, maybe some more cogs. Uh, I may need one more recipe of that. I guess I'll worry about that in a second. And our gear boxes. And uh, all we're going to do is uh, just kind of set them up in pillars. Big, tall kind of pillars here. And hopefully we don't run into stress problems. <laughs> I need to figure out more. Great. I know there's like machines and stuff we, I guess we can make later on to, I guess uh, not machines, but components to help deal with the stress. Uh, but I doubt we can make them yet because it looks like most of the stuff for the later stuff all takes uh, like plates and stuff and we don't really have that. Also takes gold and iron and we're not there yet. So let's go ahead and grab these millstones. Throw these down. 
And uh, another good part of this, too, is going to be that uh, I no longer will have to um, kind of feed it, right? So it's just going to go through the entire process uh, from start to finish. So I did grab our cobblestone generator, so let's go ahead and grab that. Sweet. I was really hoping to be able to do um, five setups, you could see, I guess, quite plainly. Let's go ahead and grab that. So we can actually get back up. Maybe up here. That looks good. Then we'll just go up here one more level. And done. Just get this done. And then we'll be able to produce, hopefully, large amounts of dust. Really easy. It's kind of the plan here. So anyway, do that there. Awesome. And then here. Cool. So that should be pretty much it, right? So let's do... Actually, I'm curious. One thing. Oh. I wonder if these... I never tried to... I, I, I think these couple gens be auto-export. I don't know if I actually need this hopper. I'll test that later. Let's go ahead and do this, this, and this. I need them running before I can test it, right? So let's go down here. I remember this cobblestone generators. I think they output either out the bottom or the top. Can't remember how they work. But I'm pretty sure those uh, do auto output. And wait, let's go ahead and uh, I guess change this setup here. We'll have to figure out how we're going to have it laid out. We probably will have this here. Also, it's weird too. These, uh, these things, like it says axe is the right tool. But look how slow that is. But if I use a pick, it breaks like right away. I thought that was a little strange. Uh, that one's a vertical. I don't think we need a vertical anymore. So let's get rid of that. Uh, we're going to need a horizontal. So let's go ahead and grab you. I guess this one's just called a gearbox, not a horizontal. We're going to need some shafts as well. So let's go ahead and grab them. And uh, let's get this done here. So let's do that. That They're going to want to, uh, I guess, turn the corner here. <laughs> uh, how are we going to do the corner turning? Probably with a regular gearbox, right? Let's do that. Then we'll just bring this across. And uh, we'll just run it up the center one, right? So that should work there. Probably have to switch into a vertical, and then we should be pretty much good to go. We just have to pillar up alongside it, and uh, get this done. So the next one would be a gear, or I guess a cogwheel. Let's do that. Uh, probably not that. Don't use an axe, even though it says it. <laughs> anyway, let's go that there. Then we'll have to go up a couple more times. Sweet. And uh, this should, hopefully, work for the entire... I see the first two levels are working. Hopefully this last one works as well, because if so, that is sweet. Do that there, and go ahead and do that there. Awesome, so I think it's all working. Oh, I do need to get the uh, cobblestone generators on top, so let's go ahead and uh, throw those into place. Awesome, now apparently we can make goggles and a wrench that's gonna give us, I guess, more information, and so we can also, uh, I guess, instantly break the, I guess, the, the, the components and put them, in, like it puts in your inventory instead, but uh, we just don't have the plates or the gold or iron that we need. So that is the only reason I haven't done that yet. But that should be producing and putting that straight into these chests, hopefully. Yes, we're getting dust there, getting dust there, and getting dust there. Later on, I'll probably turn this into a singular door uh, once we have upgrades. But these alone are going to be able to hold a lot more than a door. And uh, give us tons and tons of dust so we can actually process materials. So this is actually really good. Wait, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, drop this stuff off here. Let's do that, that, and drop you off, and that off. And that's probably pretty good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna get to here, we're gonna run over here. I guess we can go ahead and create a liquid. We can make our nether enriching liquid. And actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab a butt ton of dust. Let's do something like that there. And that looks good. Go ahead and make our next liquid. Next liquid is uh, actually pretty easy to make now for us. Uh, we have all the materials. Actually, had it in the last video. We just didn't have the fluid, right? But I did grab uh, two more of those tokens, right? So go in here, grab that, sweep. And then I guess I'll need a bucket as well. So let's do that. And then we need to hunt down the correct liquid, which would be this one right here. Throw in one of them, throw in one of them, double up our liquid. Cool. We'll go ahead and grab our newfound liquid. Pop that right there. That looks good. And then I guess we'll have to get all this dust out of our inventory. I think we need five slots open. So hopefully I can do that. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Go ahead and grab our materials. This is everything we need here. So just some glowstone. Rotten flush, you can get out of the uh, strainer. The one um, the one that takes the worms, right? So you get it there. I mean, let's go ahead and uh, drop that all inside there. Awesome. And that is our new fluid. So we already have it. This is the, what is this one even called? I can't remember. Oh, is that covering up my JI? No. Let's go to enriching. Nether enriching. This is the uh, nether enriching, which is awesome. I think we have to manually accept that quest too. So let's go ahead and do that. 
I guess we go ahead and grab that dust as well. And I guess we'll just pump a bunch of dust into this too, right? And start getting resources out of this, which is pretty cool. Awesome. So there you go. Whole bunch of materials. We got, uh, what do we got there? We got gold, which I uh, will probably want to get smelting right away. And we also have quartz dust, which we will also want to smelt right away. That'll turn into quartz. And we already had glowstone blaze powder is new though. So that is cool. Uh, let's go ahead and drop most of this off. Let's do that there. I think I actually need that for some paper in a bit. So let's keep you. That, that. Uh, don't need gold dust, quartz dust. I think I need some blaze on me. And I think I need some redstone as well. There might be some other stuff, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go. So down here, we get a bunch of other resources. Uh, we can also get netherrack out of this. I believe that is cobblestone. So let's grab some cobblestone real quick. Should we be able to grab a stack of netherrack? Really easy. Let's do that. There was also basalt and something else there, right? Soul sand. I can't remember what soul sand was. Soul sand, probably sand, actually. Let's go ahead and check that out. That there, yeah, it was sand. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of sand. I haven't been making much sand just because it's a hassle to make, just because uh, it takes dust. And I've been wanting to use dust for other stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab you. And then it was basalt, right? So if I hunt down the basalt here, that one is going to be uh, any stone. So we have a good amount of stone. Probably be able to get that done. Cool. And there we go. Lots of materials. So that is another quest done. Three new materials. And uh, we're just getting all the new materials here, which is pretty awesome. This is all going to give us access to other things. So quartz, we just have that quest done. We're going to get down to our first piping here in a second, which is cool. Magma block. I did not look at this one. How are we doing this? I don't think it's mixer. What is the proper recipe? Magma block. Oh, there it is. Four mossy, blaze, netherrack, and soul sand. Okay, let's go ahead and grab everything we need for that. Where's that at? It was four of that. Let's actually grab like eight. We're probably going to need a bunch of this. You know what? Let's grab... How many recipes would that be? That'd be six of it. <laughs> Get six recipes done, then we have a little bit. Then I think we have to mill this down to make magma cream. So I guess that's the stage we're going at. Uh, I guess it's this here. So let's grab six right there. Cool. Let's see if we can get this in there. That looks good. There we go. Got our actual magma creams, which are awesome. And then we'll have to run these through uh, one of these millstones here. I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, pop out uh, what's in this one. Nothing's in this one. So I could just do... Like two in there, maybe. Then that'll come through. And that'll come through in a couple of seconds. So I'll handle that. Uh, it's going to get into these here. I've never used this pipe before, but it's a little weird. I think I know how it works. I think you have to pump items into it. So you have to like hopper into this pipe, but we'll do that one in a second. I've never used this mod either. The, uh, what is this one? Tubes Reloaded. So that's going to be our first real set of piping. Uh, what are we doing here? This could be for our vector plates, right? How am I getting black dye? I didn't really look at that. Black dye. Oh, more millstone, right? Oh, coal. Coal in the millstone? <laughs> let's go ahead here. Let's go nab a couple of those real quick. And we could just uh, pump that in there. That'll handle the black dye for that recipe. And there we go. We've got our magma creams. That is done. And uh, where are we at? We'll let, uh, I guess, this done. I guess we'll just grab that real quick. <laughs> Was this a quest in there? Did I see that? That must be a quest somewhere else. Where was black dye? Oh, it was way up there. I skipped that one. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, we also need slime. How am I actually doing slime yet? I didn't see this one either. Well, that's just magma cream in the water. I guess we can get that one done really easy. Looks like we also get some gray dye, dye out of that. Um, sometimes it's not going to be an always thing. Um, probably just a bonus output, actually, by the looks of it. Because I think I put six in there, right? I mean, let's go grab a magma. Do that. There we go. We've got our first slime ball. That is cool. Sweet. And then I guess I want to jump over here. So let's go hunt down our gold. Uh, we got coal there. I have no gold, apparently, because I messed up. That's fine. I just need two to get this item pipe. I want to test out this item pipe because I never actually used it. But I think this is, I think it requires a hopper. Uh, I just want to make sure. Go do that. Actually, we could read what that says too. It says, item pipe always choose the quickest route and go down when possible. So they are gravity-driven pipes by the sounds of it. 
Haven't seen a mod with that for a while. Okay, I made the pipes. Just want to make sure I know how they work here. So we should be able to come up here and maybe throw a hopper up here. Good. And if I do something like this, that should work. Cool. Uh, I don't think they'll go up, though. I don't think these will go up, and I do want to test that real quick. Just to have an understanding of how these work. I don't know if the uh, other ones do. The reloaded ones, but they're showing these ones and the other ones. So I'm expecting them to uh, want us to kind of use them both, right? <laughs> maybe for different uses. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead. Maybe do something like that. Something like that there. Something like this here. Grab the item pipe. Mostly just to test to see if these will actually go up or not. Oh, that's not going to work. Right there. Then I can pump that into a chest, right? So something like this here. There you go. Cool. Uh, let's get you broken. And then throw anything in there. Oh, no, they can go up. So they're okay. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so that handles that. They'll work either way. So they're actually pretty cheap pipes when it comes down to it. Oh, did that shoot something out into the air? Maybe that's something they do as well. Can they drop items in the world? Actually, I need to test that because that's uh, another use of them. We use them as like droppers and stuff. Let's do that, that. This here, right? Grab one of these. Do this. Do head and throw that there. Yeah, okay, cool. So we can use those as droppers as well. That's cool. Okay, cool. That is a neat little use for them. Go ahead and get rid of those. What is the next quest here? Oh yeah, the tubes. Uh, tubes are gonna be lots of gold. So let's do that. Awesome. And go to at tubes. This is the mod here, tubes reloaded. They have like loaders. That's not the one it wants us to make though. I think it wants us to make the distributor. I don't know what the difference is. So let's go ahead and uh, grab a few recipes of those ones. I remember I saw it wanted us to get a shunt as well. I think this one, it said it's going to work as a dropper. So let's go ahead and grab the shunt. I think I saw we need five of those, and then we need the distributor. Uh, we also need a fence, apparently. Uh, so we need some sticks and stuff. Where are my stuff and things? That, that, cool. We'll need a uh, fence here. Not a fence, fez, fez, v fev. I have no idea what I tried to spell there. I'm going to go ahead and grab you, and a distributor. Awesome. Wait, didn't I just make a fence? Oh, I need a gate. Gates are much different than fences. Um, just make a gate, man. It's so bad that I don't know vanilla recipes a lot of times, like fences, gate, off by hurt. It's uh, pretty sad. I've been playing modded too long. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's try these puppies out. So that's going to be that. Then we go ahead and grab some tubes. Cool. Then the shunt, awesome, and that there. Now I'm gonna assume that's the way it goes, and then, nope. I don't know why I did that. I want a hopper. Sweet, awesome, and pump it item in there. There you go. So that'll drop things in the world for us as well. Plus I think we can just move things to a chest too, right? So I should be able to just use this as a uh, system to move items around as well. So that just end up in here? Yeah, there we go. So we have a piping system either way, which is what we're going for. I think these also had a filter. I think I saw that in the list there. Let's see here. Yeah, we should be able to filter with these as well. Though leather is still pretty hard to get. I need to find a way to get easy leather. Something I don't have easy leather yet or easy access to yet. I've been just getting what we get through the strainer and uh, pretty low in that regards, right? Anyway, that's cool. Go ahead and uh, get that out of the way. Uh, probably get the stuff out of there as well. And uh, see where we're at. So it wants us to make this here. That's going to be a blank plate. Let's go ahead and see if we make one of them. A blank. Grab that. This is going to be our vector plates. So all our vector plate needs, I guess, for a mob farm at some point. You can also use it to just move around items as well. But I don't know if we're going to need it for that. Go ahead and grab you. And then it looks like the base level vector which we may not have enough slime. Only takes one. That is even better. Go ahead and grab two of that. That looks good. We have our first batch of this. Awesome. And uh, yeah, these things just move you around, man. Just uh, awesome. <laughs> if you hold shift, you don't move. So really good for mob farms. I guess uh, we'll probably end up using them at some point. We don't need them this second though. And then I guess everything else is going to be into here. Although it does want a blaze rod. What is the easy way to do that? I guess you got to make blaze meshes. 
So blaze rods are going to be a little expensive, actually. So blaze rods is going to be this, right? So it'll be uh, nine blaze to this into that. Wait, I missed something. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, it has to be the uh, weak eroding. So this one here. There you go. So you have a way of getting blaze rods either way, but uh, at least it's done. Also we've got a chest here and uh, probably another one, but I don't want to clear out my inventory right now. So let's go ahead and do that. What do we got here? Oh, we got some bait pots. These actually are awesome. So let's actually grab those. Let's do that, 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 and this. Now these things are going to be used in this strainer here and they make your worms last longer. So that's actually really useful that I got that. Let's do this, let's do you. But they only work for uh, 128 uses. I don't know how much they decrease it, but they don't make it so worms used every time. So um, just every once in a while, I guess reduce the amount that it's used. So that is cool. So what I think I might go do now is actually go ahead and make everything we need for the network system. Or I should say the inventory system, because it looks like it's mostly bronze and materials that we just got access to. So this is all pretty easy stuff for the most part. And uh, once we have it, we can go ahead and actually set up a inventory system, have that all done. And it doesn't look like anything else is really kind of a big shocker here. Just a few slime, a bunch of bronze and some quartz. Oh, is it the uh, wireless thing? Storage remote? Oh yeah, we got the wireless. Oh yes, this is awesome actually. Oh, we need to do this part here, the rose gold. Okay, let's go ahead and do that first. Let's actually clear out our inventory really quick. Awesome, let's actually grab all our rewards too and see if we got anything else there. We actually got ourselves a chest, so let's go ahead and grab you. Cool, let's see if we got ourselves any other goodies. We already got this one before, but it's more money. So I'll actually go ahead and take that just fine. Rose gold is going to be over here. It's not crafted with one quartz, nine redstone. Let's go ahead and grab that and that. Sweet. This is a material from Crate. It's used to make uh, some of the more, I guess, complicated items from it. More uh, later game items from Crate. Let's go ahead and grab you. Then we need to do this. It's going to take sandpaper, right? So we need a sand and a paper which is not very high tech. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then I need to hunt down a sand. Sand we have, hopefully some left. I didn't use it all, did I? No, there we go, sweet. I need to make a big batch of sand because I, 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 I've been wanting to use glass, but I just haven't because I didn't want to use the resources, right? And we have the sand and paper. Did I not make paper? Helps if I make paper. Do that there. Awesome, awesome. And I think it works like this. So that in offhand, this in main, main hand, just hold the right click. And there you go. You got yourself some polished rose quartz, which is cool. And then it wants a electrode. And that's going to be redstone torch and a gold nugget. So that looks pretty easy. Uh, that is wrong. That is wrong. That is it right there. Okay. So be just a nugget and then maybe a redstone torch. So I can hunt down a single stick. Let's just do this. We have stick technologies. Cool and cool. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we do this. So that, that, that. Awesome. And it was like an electrode, right? Yeah, right there. Electron tube. Cool. There you go. And uh, now we have that little quest line done. So all we have to do now, like I said, is make an inventory system. So I may go ahead and hammer that out. Uh, the only other quest we have here is for like a cheese stick and a cheese upgrade. Again, I may just get this one done. This one's just a bunch of cheese and the stick is going to be that there. So super easy, get that crafted up and get all our stuff into an inventory system. And okay, I went ahead and crafted up everything we need for our inventory system here and actually have pretty much all the quests done for this quest line, except for this one, which I should be able to just click right now. there you go that quest line's done now pretty much which is uh really awesome and uh really cool so that's all finished up is that another reward which uh reward chest there that's actually cool uh let's see let's grab whatever is inside of it i got kind of a chest graveyard going on right now because i have to move all my chests around no that was just a trust as a reward okay so i wasn't expecting that but uh, to set this up is going to be really easy so let's go ahead and get this out of the way go ahead actually we're going to put the uh, what is this here? The um, storage inventory. No, not storage inventory. We want this one here, the storage network root. Let's go ahead and grab that one. I'm going to go ahead and break that. I'm going to put it right on the bottom. doesn't really matter where it goes, to be honest, but uh, that's where we're going to put it. 
Then this one's called the storage inventory. This is going to make it so we just uh, access items, but we can't craft. This one's going to make it so we can actually craft. So that's going to be kind of how it works there. Uh, we need to connect some storages. So I made a little platform down here. Uh, we don't have any ender pearls, so I can't do uh, any elevators yet. But we can set up some chests down here and use that as our storage, which is going to be the way this one works, right? So it just kind of connects the inventories. Uh, you have to provide it its uh, inventories. It doesn't have any kind of like, you know, it's not like refined storage where you make disks, right? You just connect it to existing inventories, and then, yeah, then you're good to go, right? Well, let's get that out of there. There you go. We'll set up uh, a good amount of them, I suppose. I didn't notice how many connectors we have. We only have uh, 11 right now. I can make more easily. But anyway, let's go. I guess uh, just get the rest of the place, right? That, that, that. Dang, nab it. I still haven't adjusted to the way chest place now. But anyway, let's do that. And uh, nope, that's horrible. Get the last one in place. Cool. And that there. Okay, so all we have to do is uh, get one more, I guess, set of chests here. Because uh, that would make sense. Then go ahead and grab our link cables here. And then link them up. Just like that. Awesome. Sweet. And sweet. And I'm pretty sure these only connect to one thing. So if I put another one here, yeah, it doesn't connect there. So we can only connect it to one inventory per. I don't remember if these have any connect options. Do we have any options if we right click on the connections? It doesn't look like it. Anyway, if we go up here now, actually look in the screen, we can now see everything, right? Well, there's nothing in there right now, but I could just put it in there, I guess. And now uh, the network guidebook is in there. And I've actually never read this book at all. <laughs> From this mod, I may have to read it and see if there's any kind of tidbits I could pick up from it. But I could basically I could just drop everything off and not have it uh, in my inventory anymore. Actually, I may keep these on me too. Let's go ahead and drop that off. That, that, that. Then I can just pull things in and out. I'm gonna have to do that with all of our items. So like all these items here and here and here and all that jazz. But that's fine. Really good. Now, one more thing we want to do here is uh, we got this item. It was actually from the quest line as well. Had to craft it up was not too bad. This is the uh, crafting remote. And basically what this does is link it up to the system. Shift to right click. The remote has connected to the network. Now you can uh, just right click with that and have access to the uh, crafting system. So I'll be able to craft from this uh, interface wherever I am. I think also if I go to options and controls, go to category, maybe simple. No, can't do that. I thought there was a key for this. I think there is a key for this. Huh, maybe storage? Nope. <laughs> well, that's, that's refined. Pretty sure it does have a hotkey because I think this thing's a bubble, right? No, this thing's not a bubble, I'm crazy. Okay, don't have to worry about that. That's fine. Is this one a bubble? Is that what I'm thinking? Let's see here. Oh, this one does have a slot. Huh. Use on network route for remote. Yeah. So there might be a hockey for these. I may have to look that up. But uh, yeah, it works now. It's connected to the system. I can start just moving everything in there too. So that is actually really cool. And now uh, we'll have a full-fledged system going on, which is uh, amazing. <laughs> We're almost at the point where we'll have iron in this pack. After we get iron, I think stuff's going to start moving at a pretty good pace, to be honest. But uh, I think it's more of a get to this point type deal. You write a passage, just like any pack. Just the write a passage was a little longer in this pack, but it was very interesting. So I've been enjoying it either way. So yeah, inventory system hype. Look at that, just uh, drop that all in there. And uh, in no time, we'll have pretty much everything in the system. Uh, I may have to, you know, add some inventory to it. Uh, I guess uh, space in time, but for now, this is actually pretty good. I may go ahead and uh, do some drawers as well. Um, some storage drawers connect that to the system i'll have to make a, uh, a drawer controller but uh, that isn't a big deal we have everything we need to do that now so that's cool it's really awesome what's this here sorting direction sort by name jei search enabled oh does that uh, do this yeah it does the search jei it's jei synced which is really nice when you're crafting and uh this will do the job this one down here is just items so if you just want to grab an item i actually prefer this one because look it's way easier to kind of see your stuff right what you have in there this one if you want to craft so basically what it's all about anyway let's go ahead and uh, drop this one off then maybe we'll go ahead and uh, throw our rats in some cages 
because uh, we have some cages now. They gave them to us. Might as well get them in there, right? Let's go ahead and uh, do this. There you go. Do that right there. Hunt down cage. Oh, I put them in here, didn't I? Let's do that. Let's see here. Yeah, the rat cages are basically just houses for your rats. This is also where you breed them as well. So they're actually pretty useful. Um, maybe do something like this. I might as well set up two sets of cages. I could put them all together, but I'm just going to separate them. Let's do that, that, that. And I think you just right click. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Uh, did I put all three of them in the same spot? I didn't know you could do that. Because <laughs> I thought you put one in each spot. Yeah, I'm going to do it this way because I think this is the way it's supposed to work. I don't think you're supposed to put three in one spot. Anyway, there you go. Then we'll have our, our rats all, all in a nice area. This will prevent them from wandering. And then if we make an item, I think it's called like a breeding lamp, I think is what it's called. We'll look here in a second. Uh, we can actually make them start breeding too. So breeding. Yeah, this thing right here, the little heart thing. There you go. That's actually not too bad. We might be able to just straight up make that. If I go here, hunt that down. Yeah, I can just make that, right? Nope, I cannot. Uh, let's go make a glowstone because uh, we have technology. And this will be how our life is with, uh, I guess, uh, crafting for now on which will be pretty awesome. Do that. I believe I have some poppy in there. If I don't have it in there, it's in one of those other chests I haven't moved yet. Go ahead and grab some poppies and uh, yeah, just get some breeding done at the same time, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, see here. Poppy, if I was a poppy, where would I be? Am I out of poppies, man? Maybe, it's quite possible. Uh, I didn't think I was. Let's see here. Yeah, apparently I am. Nope, they're right there. There you go. Let's go ahead and grab three of that. Sweet. Then we go ahead and toss that in there. Then it would be just breeding. We'll just set one of them up for breeding right now. We don't need to add two sets of breeders, to be honest. Yep. Just have to make sure a boy and a girl is in each one of them. I guess uh, in that particular one. Let's go. Pop that. Doesn't matter where it goes. Just like that there. So it's just a little heart. Swings back and forth. <laughs> So what do we have in there? Uh, oh, you're right here. So that's a boy. That's a girl. So we're good. So if I could do that. Oh, we already have a baby. I saw it right there. See that little wiggly worm thing? That's a baby. There you go. And uh, let's uh, leave it in there. And in time, that'll be born. And uh, we'll have yet another rat. I think they'll uh, keep breeding too. So we have to kind of keep on it. Um, there is a maximum. I can't remember what it is. But either way, we have an inventory system, and uh, we're good to go. We can access it probably everywhere in our base. I can't remember if this thing actually has a limit or not. Uh, this storage system is very simple, but at the same time, very powerful. Yeah, this will cover our whole base. Either way, so yeah, good to go, man. That's actually awesome. And now we are ready to start getting into the next quest line. Now, I wasn't sure what was going to be the first quest here um, to kind of start us off. Looks like it's going to be uh, one for the next enriching fluid. So if you go on enriching here, uh, the next one we're actually going to have to make is going to be the strong. It's actually not hard. It's really just some resources. I just need to smelt up some things, make a few more treated wood, and uh, we're pretty much ready to go in a bunch of netherrack. So not too bad at all. So yeah, we'll be moving on. That's the one that's going to make it so we finally have iron. So that's actually pretty basic all around. But I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe wrap this one up here. I'm feeling very sluggish today. So maybe maybe I should go take a break, chill out, go do that jazz, get ready for a video for tomorrow. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.